Hello students, as in the previous section we have discussed protoplast isolation, now we will discuss protoplast fusion. So protoplast, the world was first coined by Einstein in 1880 for the living matter surrounded by the cell wall. Protoplast is nothing but a cell when from which the cell wall is removed and it is having only the cell membrane. The protoplast fusion was first done by Powar in 1970. So there are basically two methods of protoplast isolation sorry fusion one is spontaneous fusion and another one is induced fusion under spontaneous fusion there is intraspecific and intergenic and under induced fusion there are three methods which is chemofusion mechanical fusion and electrofusion under spontaneous fusion the protoplasts are fused spontaneously during isolation process mainly due to physical contact basically the protoplasts are kept under physical contact with each other and under uh, interspecific homocaryons are produced and under genetic when are produced they have no significant importance now comes the induced fusion induced fusion as i already told you that it includes three methods chemofusion electrofusion and mechanical fusion electrofusion is also known as electroporation so chemofusion is that the protoplast is fused with the help of chemicals such as sodium nitrate, polythylene glycol, calcium ions, cause the isolated protoplasts to adhere to each other. This method is non-specific, inexpensive. It can cause massive fusion product, but it can be cytotoxic and non-selective and having less fusion frequency. Then comes the electrofusion. In this particular method, we are using electric field to fuse the protoplasts. An electric field of slow strength, which is 10 kilo volt is used electrofusion is easy to control it is having frequency up to 100 percent it gives reproducibility it is less cytotoxic and the equipment but the equipment is sophisticated and expensive this is the flow diagram of protoplast fusion uh, by electric field as you can see these circles are showing the protoplast when we apply the electric current to the protoplast they align themselves as in the form of a pulse when the short dc pulses are applied the membrane between the two protoplasts is break down and we get the fused product this another method is mechanical fusion which isolated protoplasts are by uh, brought into intimate physical contact mechanically then they are observed under microscope and using micro manipulator or perfusion micro pipette they are fused the machine here shown in the slide shows the how microscope is used and how which type of the instrument we are using here now why we are using protoplast fusion it is used for combining two complete genomes exchange of single or few traits between species the transfer of mitochondria are or chloroplasts between species Protoplast fusion between male sterile cabbage and normal cabbage was done and cybrids were selected. Cybrids are basically the two cytoplasmic hybrids where we are having the cytoplasm of both the parents but the genome content of only one parent was selected that contain the radish mitochondria and cabbage chloroplast. <laughs>